Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my bronzer collection. I have kind of a small collection, but I kind of want to keep making videos about each item in my, like, each category in my collection so I have it documented. I think it's kind of cool. So next year, like, I can make another video of my collection and I could compare and see what I don't have anymore or what I added to my collection. I think it's kind of neat. So, I also recommend everyone to do this if you have a larger makeup collection. I think it's fun. Because obviously we have a lot of makeup for a reason. We love it. Alright. I'm going to start with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the lighter um, shade. It came with, it comes with a darker one. And then the darker one has a yellow powder and the shade's a little darker. Um... This had like a highlighting setting powder. I dropped this and it broke, but it was almost gone anyways. And then here is the contour shade, which I think is a nice color. I definitely hit pan. It's kind of satisfying to see. <laughs> okay, and then I have another Wet n Wild product. This is the dual ended contour stick. It comes with the highlighter and the contour. I like it. I like the um, contour one. It's kind of more of a drier formula though. A little harder to blend. But it works for when I want to use it. I don't like the highlighter shade though. When I put it underneath my eyes, it's it looks really dry and cakey under there. So. But I think it was like $4.99. Something like that. So if I just use the contour shade, I'm fine. I'm happy with that. And then I'll go to my Too Faced. I have the Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium. This is like a deluxe size. I got this for free from ordering on Too Faced's website as like a free gift. I also hit pan on that. I love this. I think this is the perfect shade. It's very neutral. And it smells like chocolate. So <laughs> I love it. And then I got this. At Marshall's for like $12.99. It originally is like $30. Too Faced repackaged all their bronzer products. And so all the older packaging, they were pumping them out at like Marshall's, places like that. So I had to pick it up. And then this is the medium deep matte bronzer. It's a little dark for me, but if I use the light hand, it works. So... I like it. I always love when I get good deals too. And then I have the famous butter bronzer. It's probably the most hyped up bronzer on YouTube. Definitely YouTube made me buy it. Um, I definitely am almost done with this. This is so satisfying to see all this pan. I still get use out of it though. I mean, I, I just run my brush along the outside of it, and I still pick up product. So when the day comes when no more product <laughs> comes up, that's when I'll get rid of it. But for now, it's still usable. <laughs> okay, and then I also have a Milani Baked Bronzer. This is also a popular one on YouTube. Um, This is a like a dome, and the dome is almost flat so I use this quite a bit I like the shade of it it looks kind of shimmery but that doesn't really translate onto the skin I think it's just a light natural bronzer I like it and then my most recent bronzer from Pretty Vulgar I received this in a boxy charm it's in the shade uh, bronze mankini mankini um, this one, when I went on, where did I go? I went on Sephora's website because I wanted to look up the reviews and stuff. And this one is for more medium skin types. They do have um, a bronzer shade for light skin tones, which I really would have liked that one. And then they have, I believe they have another one for deeper skin tones. So they do have a nice range. Um, I just have to be careful with it. The first time I used it, I used it like I would use any of my other bronzers and I had quite a bit of product on my cheeks and I had it took a while to blend out but 
yeah, this is my entire collection. And then I just wanted to add in a little review on the nail polish I received from BoxyCharm and the Boxy Lux from Deborah Lippman. It's um, in the shade Odana and Modern Love. These were ex expensive. It's $20 for the two. And they sell it at Sephora. But man, this polish is beautiful. Normally, I mess up and I get polish everywhere. Even like on my right hand when I because I'm right handed so when I paint with my left hand I always mess up and I think it looks beautiful it does chip um it's not perfect but I feel like you don't even need to use two coats and I just love the color I am so happy with this polish and my cat Izzy is right here hanging out with me <laughs> oh your babies all right, guys, so next I think I'm going to do setting powders, including like um, like foundation powders and loose setting powders, and I don't have many of those either, so these videos will be quick. All right, have a great day. Bye.